Hey guys, so today's video is another makeup tutorial. Um, this one is a little bit more dramatic than the last one I posted. When I did my entire Makeup Geek collection video where I showed you guys all my Makeup Geek products, I got requested to do a video using the shade Bitten. So that is what I'm doing today. I also know that you guys requested the look I was wearing in that video. And I was actually just playing around with the makeup and I created that look. So I'm gonna try to recreate it because I remember what I used, but I'm still gonna try to recreate it for you guys. Don't you worry, hopefully. So yeah, this is one of my favorite looks to wear. It's very me, very warm reddish brown colors. It's one of my favorite looks to do. I do have a look coming up using the Mega Pro palette that is more cool toned. Whoa, whoa, almost dropped this. That is more cool toned, so stay tuned for that. But this makeup would look absolutely beautiful if you have green, hazel, you know, those kind of eyes because the red tones really make green eyes pop. I know I just recently did a look similar to this using my Amrezy palette from Anastasia, but it was limited edition, not everybody has that palette, so I figured, since it was requested for me to do a look using Bitten, that I would do this, because it's like my favorite, with the oranges and all that stuff. Have I, I'm talking too much already. So if you wanna see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my eyelids, and recently I have gotten into priming my eyelids with concealer. I don't know why. This is the LA Girls Pro Concealer in Creamy Beige. Creamy Beige? Yes. This is a Zoeva brush I'm using to blend that all out. So the first eyeshadow I'm taking is Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek. I am using all Makeup Geek eyeshadows in this video. Um, and I'm just buffing this into my crease with a Sigma E40 brush, just a fluffy br blending brush. I cannot say that word. And that's going to be my transition shade. Then I'm going to take Coco Bear and I'm going to blend this into my crease as well. But this one is going to be a little bit more precise. I put Peach Smoothie pretty much everywhere. This one is going to be directly in the crease, kind of. A little more precise, basically. Next thing I'm doing is I'm going to take this eyeshadow right here. It is called Burlesque. It's a nice cranberry shade. And on a flat shader brush, I am just going to pack this on my entire lid. You can skip this step if you just want to use Bitten by itself, but for some reason I decided to layer them. So the first thing I'm doing is just applying burlesque on the entire eye, and then I'm going to take Bitten, <laughs> I'm going to take the Bitten eyeshadow, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Bitten is a little bit more pigmented and it has a little bit more red, while burlesque is a little bit more purple cranberry. This one leans more towards red, and it's matte. Burlesque isn't matte, but I don't know, I just kind of like the combination of both of them. So I'm gonna pack this on my entire lid. Then I'm gonna take Cocoa Bear again. I'm gonna take my MAC 217 and I'm just gonna start blending this into the crease. I kind of want the colors to blend together, Cocoa Bear and Bitten. So after this point, basically, it's just a lot of going back and forth and blending and just making sure that they kind of blend together. Does that make sense? I hope so. So I'm basically just buffing that Coco Bear eyeshadow into the crease. And then after that, I'm gonna go back into Bitten and I'm gonna apply it to the lid because a lot of it did get blending away. A lot of it did get blended away with all the blending we did. Okay, how many times am I gonna say blend in uh, this video? I don't know. So yeah, just packing that on once again. And then I'm gonna take a fluffy brush with no additional product and I'm gonna blend out the edges of those colors. Then I'm gonna dunk my eyeshadow brush, well, the same brush I just used, into this shadow right here. It's called Chickadee. It's a very orangey yellow kind of color. I love it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dust this in my crease, kind of where the Cocoa Bear shadow ends. I'm just gonna go back and forth and I'm gonna dust it. This is just gonna give the eyeshadow look more warmth and a hint of orange. I'm gonna go back into Cocoa Bear and then put some more in my crease, and that's just what I did right there. I'm gonna take these two eyeshadows, this is White Lies and Vanilla Bean, I believe, and I'm gonna blend them together, well, use them both together as my brow bone highlight, and then I'm gonna go into Shimmer Shimmer, and I'm gonna put this directly under the arch, well, I guess everywhere, but I'm also gonna put this on top just to give it more shine, like a shimmery look. I'm taking a makeup wipe, and I'm just cleaning up the eyeshadow just in case there was any fallout or anything like that. I'm gonna take my Maybelline Master Drama Eyeliner in Midnight Master and I'm gonna tight line with this and then I'm gonna also apply 
this to my waterline as well. I think this look looks really nice with black eyeliner. This is my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper, and I'm just gonna add a wing. I can never do this on camera, but it's gonna be like a medium-sized wing, not too, too thin, um, but not too thick either. And then here I'm just curling my lashes, and I'm gonna skip falsies today, and I'm gonna take my <laughs> Jordana Best Lash Extreme and just pack that on. I'm going to move on to the rest of my face really quickly before finishing my eyes. I'm taking my primer. This is the Too Faced um, Hangover RX primer. I love it. It's my favorite. And then I'm going to take my Makeup Forever HD primer. This, no, foundation. This is in the shade... Da, 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 one... Oh, God. What is this called? Hold on. Let me open my foundation drawer. I'll tell you right now. Okay, that is in the shade 140. Yes. 140. I'm going to take my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20 and I'm going to apply this to my dark circles. This is really full coverage and I love it. It covers up the dark circles pretty nicely. Then I'm going to take this product right here. This is the Maybelline Nude. Maybelline. Oh my god. I'm terrible. Hold on. I have it in my drawer as well. Okay. This is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch um, highlighting concealer. Uh, this is in the shade Ivory and I'm just applying this underneath my eyes and to the center of my face, just the parts that I want to be highlighted, just to highlight my face a little bit more. And I'm blending that in with a Real Techniques contour brush, my Holy Grail concealer brush. It is life. I love it more than anything for concealer. It's amazing. I'm going to set all that using my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 135 Creamy Natural. I use this all the time. Um, it sets my under eye concealer really nicely because it's a finely milled powder. I like it. So I'm using my e.l.f. Um, tapered highlighter brush to set that. It's perfect for setting concealer under the eyes. It's amazing. Okay, so after I've set my concealer, I'm going to move on to my eyes just to finish them up. I'm going to take Bitten again and I'm just gonna apply this really 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 close to the waterline this is a brush from equal tools you can get equal tools at Walgreens or Walmart or anything like that so I'm just applying this really close to my waterline and then I'm gonna take um, cocoa bear and on a pencil brush I'm just gonna go back and forth and I'm gonna buff that out so that the colors can blend together nicely and it can look nice and smoky underneath my waterline then I'm gonna take shimmer shimmer once again um, and I'm gonna apply this to my inner corners. I wanted a really really intense inner corner highlight since the look is pretty much all matte I thought it would look really pretty with an intense shimmery inner corner And then I'm just gonna apply the mascara to my bottom lashes and then we are completely done with the eyes So to finish off my face, I'm gonna take my Jane bronzer. This is in the shade inspire and I'm just gonna bronze up my face. I didn't want to do a heavy contour or anything like that. I just wanted to, you know, add some warmth. It's a very warm look. I didn't want to do like a heavy contour. So just adding some bronzer to the places you would naturally contour though, just to give a little bit of definition. Then I'm going to take a Makeup Geek blush. This is in the shade Infatuation. Definitely one of my top three favorite Makeup Geek blushes ever. Um, it's amazing. It just gives a lot of warmth to the cheeks because it's kind of bronzy at the same time. It's matte, but it gives a warm color to the cheeks. I love this blush so much. It's amazing and incredible. I love it. Anyway, moving on. Um, I'm just going to take Shimmer Shimmer again, and I'm going to use this as a highlight. This is like one of the most intense eyeshadows I have ever used, so it gives a really beautiful, intense highlight. And you guys know I love my highlights. So I just decided to add it to my cheekbones, because might as well. It was just there sitting in front of me, so that's why I used it as a highlight. So I'm highlighting my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, and my cupid's bow as well. For lips, I am taking this ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Skimpy, and I am filling in all my lips with this. Well, fill I am lip lining, and then I'm filling in my lips with this. Yes, that's how you would say it, right? Yeah. This is kind of like a peachy nude, a brownish peachy nude, a really beautiful lip liner. And then on top of that, I am using the ColourPop Lippy Stick in Skimpy in the same shade. 
So it is a little bit lighter and the and it's glossier as well. So this is the lippy stick. It's lighter and glossier and really, really pretty. I love this combination. I'm not a fan of skimpy lippy stick by itself, but with the skimpy lippy pencil underneath, it's a nice combo. Did I lose anybody there? Because I feel like I did. So I hope you really like this look. I think it's perfect for this time of year. I absolutely love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Okay, I believe you. Okay, enough. Darling. Your paw is gonna scratch my faux leather tank top. I remember what I used, but I'm gonna try to recreate it. Do you hear that? Do you guys want to see how big Selena is already? <laughs> <laughs> Using the shade Bitten. Bitten. I don't know why I say Bitten like that. Bitten. Like, I can't just say Bitten. <laughs> oh, guys, guys. Okay, Cornelius, Mr. Jealous. Hi, my little baby. You need a haircut very much, very fast. Okay. Celine, no! Chewing up my sweater.